the style constraint allows a point to go out and seek an alignment from the active geometry or a feature from the active surface and be placed at that location. In this example, our template is going to go out and seek this alignment here, which as we hover over it, we can see that the style on this alignment is ramp. So when we go into the roadway designer and zoom into the top portion of the alignment, we can see that our ramp alignment here is displayed in plan view. If we step to the station, we can see it displayed here in the cross section view. If we assign a style constraint to this point in our template, it'll go out and seek that alignment. To do that, we're going to edit the template. We're going to right click on that right edge pavement point. And we're going to turn on style constraint and choose the ramp style that we saw earlier on the line. Now we'll tell it to match that alignment in the horizontal or the vertical or both. And a range is a distance that it'll go out and seek it. A positive range will be to the right and a negative range will be to the left. And we'll tell it to go out a maximum of 100 feet to the right to find that style. And we're only going to look in the horizontal. We hit apply and close. Click OK and close. We can see now that our template is going out and seeking that alignment in the horizontal. The other constraint on that point was a slope constraint, so it's maintaining that slope.